What's up, YouTube? Back with an update. Uh, I just wanted to make a video on pressure washer. I'm trying to buy it, man. Really, this video is just really about setting goals. You know, I have I know I haven't made a video in a while. I just wanted y'all just know where I was at concerning the pressure washer. Uh, I just want to just say that setting goals is very important. For whatever business you're doing, whatever side hustle you're doing, just set the goal and just be patient. You know, you got to set goals. And when you hit, unless you content, when you hit those goals, make a set of new goals. You know, uh, I just want to share with y'all. Just grab me a, a Ram 1500 for the uh, pressure washing business. I'm fully legit now. I just need to purchase, purchase uh, business insurance for the over, for the overall uh, company in the South. I guess somebody would sue me or anything like that. But uh, I'm good as far as why it's con like I had a little hiccup. As far as why I got insurance for you know at somebody's house if something mess up or something like that. That's only $55, $60 a month uh, for a million dollar policy down here in North Carolina. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to share with y'all. Y'all see from the picture that I got the truck. I finally got the trailer set up the way that I wanted to have it set up. I, I finally, that vision that I had is it, finally come to pass. I went with a, uh, I didn't go with the crew. I went with the regular. That way, you know, I stay in my budget, a work truck, me, two other people work with me. We good to go, you know. But uh, I've been working on this vision for the last four years. And the reason why I feel like I haven't got where I'm at right now quicker is because I, I slacked off. You know, so I would say put a, a, a time span on your vision. Sometimes you might not hit it right on the nose for your goals. But don't try to, you know, if possible... Don't wait too long. But uh, last winter, when I decided I was going to get back into this, I stopped buying piece by piece. I was getting a pressure washer here, a hose there. Uh, I didn't just jump into it, you know what I mean? So uh, last year, I kind of like fell off a little bit with it because I was tied up with work, you know? But I just want to encourage you, just get a little piece here, get a little piece there. You know, uh, you don't have to start off just spending all the money up front. You are going to be anxious to get started once you start grabbing little pieces and going from, you know, you start getting more and more. But just take your time. That way you won't go broke. Unless you can afford to do it, then do it. Uh, but I just want to encourage you just take lower steps. Search for the pressure washer. Get the holes. Get the holes reels. Uh get the high pressure holes all those little things cost money if you try to go buy all that stuff up front you're gonna spend a lot of money so if you just get it over time hit your goals you know you'll have you'll have everything that you need another thing i wanted to say was that uh now until the place now pressure wash was doing so good i got an eight foot bed on this thing so i'm still on setting goals y'all you know, setting goals. We all know this, but I'm just going through my my experience with setting little goals and how I got where I'm at right now in the business. And I'm still doing the business part-time. I still got a full-time job. But I got an eight-foot bed because I plan on putting a small rig back here. And then with the trailer, I plan on buying a little cheap pickup truck to pull that. Then I had two rigs out here. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm thinking about contracting work to somebody, you know, off the job, you know, maybe three houses a day for them, might give them $50, $60 a house. You know, pay them off the house. So if I'm getting 200 a house, you know, I pay them $60 a house or $50 a house. You know, however they want to do it. I mean, paying somebody 750 a week is good money, but I probably would have to guarantee them 500 if it's slow. You know, but that's all a part of business. That's my next steps for it. Is to uh, have somebody driving this truck, a one-man show, doing at least two to three hours a day. And uh, me being 
toping the trail around, you know, doing a few hours and when I can get it, you know, do what I gotta do. So that's my next step. So y'all see all that come to pass, but I'm just sharing that with y'all right now. Uh, and I probably won't get to that this season. It'll probably be next season. I start building a rig on the back of this truck right here. But that's not a part of my plan for the rest of this summer uh, or the rest of the spring going into the summer. And I just feel like that's what you gotta do for whatever you at in the business. Uh, next year, I'm thinking about walking away from my job, y'all. I'm just sharing some of, you know, some of my uh, fog goals. Uh, I do substance abuse. I think I'll probably do substance abuse classes and I run the two rigs in between my transportation business and reselling, you know, that'll be sufficient. That'll be more than enough money uh, to take care of me and my household with my wife working also, you know. So that's my goal for next year. So if y'all don't have a plan, write it down. I had a little book where I sat down. I wrote down every last I'm going to try to keep this minute uh, video under 12 minutes. I wrote down every last single thing I was going to need for pressure washing. Every last little single thing I was going to need. And I can't believe how fast it came together. You know, right now, all I got to do is get an 8 gallon per minute pressure washer. That's my next thing. I got two 4 gallons right now. But right now, all I need is an 8 gallon per minute pressure washer and another hose reel for my uh, garden hose. And I'm good for right now. I think that's pretty much it. But I had a list of like, probably, I'm talking about even down to like the ball valves, two ball valves, everything. I had everything on my list. I think I got everything on my list except for my eight gallon per minute pressure washer, man, for my goals for this season. That's it, I wanna upgrade to that before the season out. Maybe in a few weeks, you know, money, you know, things go right, I get the money, I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. But, uh, so I just want y'all to do that. If you haven't did it, it works. You will see it. You will feel motivated because you're making steps. But just take your time. And mind you, this video for people that just getting into the business, you know, and I'll show y'all a little walk around in the truck. It's a simple work truck with a trailer hooked up to it. You know, I think it look real professional. And I built a, uh, a ladder rack myself. So I'll make a little, you know, the end of the video with uh, my uh, do-it-yourself ladder rack. Uh, and I'll show y'all that on the next clip. But y'all be blessed. Any questions, you know, just leave it at the bottom. You know, and uh, if I got time, I'll make, I'm on my way to do a job right now. I'll make a little clip of the uh, the house that I'm doing. I got more pressure washing videos coming and things that I do, you know, to get business. Because that's the key thing. You got to get business when you're doing pressure washing. But that's another video all in itself. Y'all be blessed. I'll catch y'all in the next, next clip of me showing y'all the truck and the trailer. What's up, YouTube? Just showing y'all the setup. Back of the truck. Got the 20 inch rims on there. She looking nice and clean. It's the other clip. Just a basic work truck. Nothing special in there. Basic work truck. Blasted floor, rubber floor. Yeah, man, she look good from the outside when I pull up. Here go the trailer. I went on and blacked out the 15 wheels. Yeah, man, I built this ladder rack though. I finally got my 28 foot. Got my two ladders. I can do gutter work now. I built this ladder rack out of uh, two by four and two by six. I doubled up on the legs, then I framed it again. With these little frame things, corner frame things, she ain't going nowhere. So, not really using these. I don't even know why I put this up there. I really ain't need it. I just like the way it look. So I got like that all the way around. I got it sitting. It ain't going nowhere. I saw a carpenter. He had his set up, and I asked him how he did it, and then he showed me. And in the front, I got two two by six. That way, it give more support for the ladders. But I already showed y'all the trail. I just wanted to show y'all the uh, the ladder rack that I built. I built all the way around. I got it like that. Better support with two two by fours to hold everything. It ain't going nowhere. Two by six in the back. 
going all the way around. Same thing. I got a little metal joint down there. Got it down there. Just extra support. And I felt the difference when I put those metal things on there. It like it really, really supported. I still got to do some stuff back here for better, better organization. And then, you know, I got another 50 feet of holes and I'm gonna put 100 feet of holes on that one. And I'm thinking about putting a reel, two reels cross here. That way when I back up in the house, I can just drop this and I can just pull them. That way if I got back in, I can pull my stuff out from the back. If I'm on this side of the house, I can pull from here. I'm on that side of the house, I can pull from there. So I finally got it together, y'all. I just wanted y'all to see the ladder rack. Get one more shot. I'm back here. Finally got it. I think she looked pretty good. The rims looking nice. Yeah, that's it. All right, catch y'all the next one.